guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi, and in today's video, I am partnering with African Pride to bring you my perfect twist out, my easy to follow, super simple, super quick twist out. So if you are not new here, you know that like me and twist outs, you know, hand in hand, I love a good twist out. And today we did a chunky one on freshly washed clean hair using some new products that African Pride launched in their Moisture Miracle collection. I reviewed that collection when it first came out and I really enjoy the pre poo as you guys know, if you're not new here, the pre-poo is probably my favorite product from African Pride and the only pre-poo that I use. So if you want to see how I got this really cute twist out featuring some really great tips and tricks and how my twist outs always come out bomb, keep on watching. I tend to do twist outs with twisting butters or creams and I have used the twisting styler from this particular collection. It's bomb. But today I used a gel and I love a good gel twist out when I'm gonna go somewhere when it's humid outside and stuff like that. You guys know I live in South Florida. So having a gel option for twist outs is I think a must for naturals when you wanna have that extra hold. So let's dive into the tutorial. We'll see how I got this really bomb style on day one, literally day one. Like we're here, look at us. Let's start. <laughs> so obviously you start off with a clean scalp and a deep conditioned head of hair. I never want to style my hair on dirty hair. It doesn't work for me. I love a good shampoo and then I go straight into conditioning and then after conditioning we obviously begin the styling process. So starting off with the African Pride Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water Curl Milk and Detangler. Now this is supposed to moisturize and soften natural coils and curls, that's me. I went ahead and sectioned my hair into four sections, broke that up even more, and began to detangle with a favorite detangling brush of mine. Now let me tell you something, this is a light, type of leave-in, it's very hydrating, it's very softening to the hair, and I was able to detangle with no problem. When it comes to my twist outs, I always go in with a leave-in first. I feel like it is a important step to keep your hair soft and moisturized throughout the week, and this product definitely did feel moisturizing and it felt conditioning as I was applying it to the hair. After I went in with the Curl Milk and Detangler, which is a moisturizing product as well as a detangler, if you haven't caught that yet, I went in with the curl defining gel. This gel is actually supposed to hydrate and put a nice hold on the hair, which I think at this point all curl gels should do that. You shouldn't be applying a gel that's super, super hard, crunchy, and has absolutely no moisture to it. So I went in with this product and I do agree that it is hydrating and it definitely has a hold. I will categorize it for my texture as a medium hold. It's not a super crunchy hold. My hair has no cast at the moment and it is day one. So I feel like it'll only soften up as the days go on. If you liked your hair to feel soft and movable even after applying a gel, this actually worked really, really great for me. My hair was soft, moisturized, it felt really conditioned, and it felt like it was going to be protected as I was going to be leaving my twist in my hair for a couple of days. These products have no parabens, mineral oil, sulfates, or petrolatum, in case you guys are wondering or if you kind of like swear off of those. I went ahead and did my favorite method for stretching my twists and that is putting them into two cornrows and across my head. Um, I did that after my hair was completely dry just to not lengthen the drying process and then after it was dry and stretched I took it out today. Now before I took my hair out I went in and I applied the Maximum Hold Edge Styling Wax. I love a good edge control. It is not super crunchy or super heavy on the edges. It does feel soft like a soft hold but my edges like I said did smooth down. If you want a more lasting hold you can put a scarf across your edges for like 10 to 15 minutes, maybe even half an hour, and that will make your edges last all day. So here we are with our hair taken out. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I really have no complaints. I feel like I mention it all the time. I love to bring you guys affordable products that work. Definitely feel like African Pride is one of those brands that has affordable hair care that works. Let me know in the comments if you tried anything from the Moisture Miracle collection. I've had several combos with you guys over the years, so I know that a handful of you do like and 
and enjoyed this collection. I would love to hear if you want to try it, if you have tried it, and if you've heard about it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up on your way out. And thank you once again to African Pride for parting with me to bring you guys this really, really easy to follow, super quick style that honestly anyone can do. And give it a thumbs up on your way out. And if you're new here, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you're new here and you have not joined the Candy Kings family by subscribing, are you okay? Are you good? I mean, thanks. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>